Hey, this is Dr. D. Today I'm talking about facet joint hypertrophy. Facet joints connect one vertebra to the other throughout the spine and allow us to bend and turn. If we look at the model of the spine here, I'm going to show you one vertebra right on top of the other. And if I turn this sideways, that vertebra is connected through this joint to that vertebra. This is a facet joint. Over time, damage can occur to the facet joints and the joint tries to repair itself by laying down more bone on that area to make itself stronger. Now that is what's called facet joint syndrome. As the joint enlarges, it can put pressure on any nerves passing through there and that can cause pain. Pain can be felt anywhere along the spine, but especially in the lumbar spine it went with uh, twisting and turning motions. If you're having pain while you're standing or sitting, this may be an indication of facet joint syndrome. Two of the main causes of facet joint hypertrophy are osteoarthritis and degenerative disc disease. People over the age of 30 are at a greater risk of developing conditions that lead to facet joint hypertrophy. Now, the diagnosis for this, your doctor may order a CT scan or an MRI to examine the joints for any signs of hypertrophy. Your doctor may also inject a local anesthetic in the joint. If you feel any relief from there, then this can confirm facet joint hypertrophy. There are several treatment options that are available for this condition and the treatment varies depending on the severity of pain and the damage to the area. Uh, two of the most common ones that are used are for set joint injections to reduce the swelling and also physical therapy to strengthen the spine. For people who have a mild pain, you should consider changing the way you sit or stand to relieve pressure on the nerves. For more information on facet joint hypertrophy, please visit backpainrelief.net.